Okay, let's take a look at the Z float. So the Z float, as we've said, really folds up nice and small, but believe it or not, this will hold the cylinder and the float you and the diver no problems. Let's take a look at all the different features and components. All right, one of the first things that I want you to notice is that you can actually even wear this as a backpack. So if you needed to carry the tank and the system like a backpack, you could. It's really quite comfortable and convenient as a backpack. Or you can carry it via the carry handle. So when you're going in towards the beach and back from the beach, you can carry it by the carry handle. You can also tow it by the handle on the front, meaning when you're walking through the surf zone, you're going to want this thing floating, and you're going to be pulling it behind you while the waves are breaking. So you're protecting it. So it's really got a lot of options. Look, the bag is completely symmetrical. It works that way around. It works this way around. It goes from this side. It goes from this side. The handle's this side. The symmetrical. We did that intentionally so that you can enter and exit out of surf zones. If, you, if you're walking in, a big wave takes you and pushes you in, you can actually even ride this like a raft. I have before. It's kind of fun. Point is, it's completely symmetrical. You have nothing to worry about falling out because everything's zipped up. See the top here? It's zipped. I take the zip, I unzip it, and I can put everything in here. I can put my weight belt, weights, I can put, of course, the cylinder goes in here, which I'm going to show you. I can put extra ex, extra fins, mask, all that. So again, when you're taking customers out, I don't take customers out with their weight belts on. I give them the weights once they're out there. Of course, if I've got the flotation, I don't mind, but you get my point. Okay, here yeah, let's take a look. What we have inside here is we have a dual pontoon. There is two pontoons that are independent. So if one pops, you don't meet your tank underwater. <laughs> Alright, this will still keep you floating. There are about 30 pounds of lift on each side. That's 14 kilos of lift each pontoon. That's 60 pounds. Almost 30 kilos of lift. Tons and tons of lift. You will notice that there's straps inside that the pontoons go into. You can cinch down the strap, changing where the lift is. I normally leave them all open because I'm making a decision where I want to put the cylinder for lift. It's bigger than a cylinder, which you will see. So when I'm going to place the cylinder, I can place the cylinder towards the rear of the bag or towards the front of the bag. That changes the angle of attack. If I've got tons and tons of weight in the bag, cylinder goes more forward, weight goes to the back, picks up like a pontoon. You want this thing to look like a zodiac in the water. It should ride the surface. It shouldn't nosedive. So you don't want to put all the weight in the front where you're towing it from. You want it in the back. So, I'm going to push that cylinder as far back as I can go. You'll notice inside, there's actual tank straps that the tank attaches to. Velcro, tank in. We don't need cam buckles like you do on a BC. And the reason is because this will all be zipped up and protected. So this is ample to hold it. You'll also notice inside that one of the straps has got the flag pole holder. It'll actually hold the flag. Little, little spot right there that holds the flag. So you want to keep that in a vertical position. So, the way you can do this is you can take your Velcro like this and you can open up everything and you can place the cylinder into the bag. Now, don't worry because what you're going to see is you're going to see these two tubes that are the front of the bag in which you're going to inflate them from. They're very easy to manipulate. They go up and down to let air in. When you push down, air goes in. When you release, it stops adding air. They also connect to your PC inflator hose that's on your regulator system. But there's no, nothing makes it stay there. You just push. Once you've filled it up, you can go ahead and tighten up the nut so gas doesn't escape. So you can oral inflate. Notice that I push down while I exhale. So you're going to push down to and exhale. That can take a lot of breath. You can also do it from the cylinder, which I'll show you. Okay? 
So those two should be inside. You'll notice that there's meshing that allows water to escape from the bag so you're not carrying water up the beach. The bag it drains, it's a self failing bag. So I make sure that my pontoons are in the straps. I make sure that my flag that goes through the bag lines up. So the flag holder lines up. And at this point, I take my cylinder and I place my cylinder in the bag, valve up. Now what I really like is I like to push that, 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 that cylinder all the way down so it meets the bottom of the bag. Later you'll find out that you can even fill the cylinder in the bag. So if you're refilling all the time it's really easy. You can also remove and get a new fresh cylinders. A lot of resorts just give you fresh cylinders and you put them in the bag. Once it's in the bag, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cinch up my Velcro. So I just go ahead and thread my Velcro and cinch everything up. Now, on this particular one, keep in mind, and the reason I'm showing you from this angle, is I want that flag so it's vertical. Okay? I want the flag holder to be vertical. So you want to position the strap so that that flag holder ends up being vertical. And then I cinch everything up. Now again, this doesn't have to be super tight. That's fine. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and I can attach my first stage. And this attaches in the regular way that a scuba first stage attach attaches. There's nothing fancy to this. In this case, we're using DIN, DIN, they call it. It's just a better fitting. It's called a capture O-ring. You check the O-rings there. You check there's no dust and salt and all that kind of stuff. A little bit of lubrication is always good. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to screw it into the tank valve, just like normal. Once I've got it screwed in, make sure you don't look at the pressure gauge. Turn the glass away from you. If something happens, you don't want it going in your eye. Next, you're going to push the purge button just a little and slowly turn on. And there you go. The reason you slowly push the purge is to release the pressure so it doesn't slam. Okay, now that that's set up, you can check your pressure. Pressure's 3,000. Eventually, you will hang this over the edge, but in this case, we're not going to. We're just going to put it away in the bag for now because we're going to transport it through the surf zone. Remember, all entries and exits, this bag is sealed with all your goodies inside. Okay, so now, once that's the case, it's time to inflate your pontoons. This tank can be installed with the pontoons inflated. I'm just going to show you now. You go ahead. And I get it nice and full, right? There is no OPV, over pressure relief valve. So be careful, okay? Get it nice and hard, cinch her up. Great, cannot leak. Next, you go to the other side. Notice only one side was filled. Dual pontoon. That's for safety. Okay, there you go. So again, Dual pontoon, get it nice and hard, cinch her up, once again, it gives you a really nice view of how the cylinder sits. Now, these front bolt snaps, when you're towing it, will attach to the D-ring in the front. So again, there's a D-ring in the front, I'm going to turn that for you. See that D-ring right there? That bolt snap attaches to that D-ring. So when you're towing it, it's pulling on the D-ring, not on the connection. Where you can slide that as you need, but that gives you the idea. Okay? The handle is for you to pull it through the surf zone. The D-ring is for you to tow it. With the cylinder being all the way back, it'll ride 
like a little zodiac. Okay? So there you go. When I'm not towing it, I can put... When I'm not towing it, I can put this in the bag and, and zip everything up. When I'm towing it, and when I'm using it, I attach it to the front. So I do that. Get my flag ready. Close the bag. Take my flag. Put my flag through. So my flag stands up nice and vertical. Boing, boing. See? That's nice. And then I go like this. I zip everything up. Keep extra weight, an extra mask, whatever you want in it. Really nice is you can attach things to it. You can attach a rope to it and attach it to an anchor. Attach it to your boat. So if there's a current, you can be attached to the boat. You can be zoobering going nowhere. It's really nice. You don't drift off and float into the oblivion. You can attach it to the, to the surface, to an anchor line. You can anchor yourself in one position while you're running a, an intro class. If you're running a supervised diver class. You know? So it's really nice. You don't have to tow it. You can actually have it fixed. Okay? Notice there's handles. Those handles are for you to grab. You can actually sit on this thing. So it's really, really very nice. You can even go ahead and do up the handle like this. So it's all nice and tidy as well. Again, when I'm doing surface, when I'm doing entries and exits and so forth, what I'm going to do, flag goes inside. Why? Because I don't want this, if I, this gets toppled in the surf zone, I don't want everything to fall out. Right? This is a very unique feature to Zuba, is that nothing can ever happen to this. I've seen systems where they have compressors on the surface, pumping you air down, floating compressors. Of course, it always worries me if that float flips over. <laughs> That's a problem. This doesn't matter. As you can see, everything zips up. This can go any orientation you want. Just throw it in the pool. Take a look at it. Watch. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it does. So, that just gives you a basic idea of how to set up your Z float. And this, believe it or not, I've done entries and exits in 12 foot. That's 3 meter C. I've gone through a surf zone with it. No problem. And the nice part is because you're not wearing scuba, because you're not wearing the tank and all the weight, it's all in the bag, it's easy to get through the surf zone. It's basically like swimming through the surf zone. So you don't have to worry about big surf entries. We use this a ton in California because of that.